and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like every video, I do appreciate swinging by and watching it. I do appreciate the support. Uh, tonight, we are in the middle of filming the uh, Oktoberfest 2020 uh, beers here on the channel. I've already uh, filmed the Franz. Uh, check that out. Ryan Guy's Franz. Um, Merzen Lager. Sierra Nevada Fest Beer. And the Taft Brewing Company Oktoberfest. Uh, check those reviews out. Uh, tonight... Actually, the second review that I'm filming tonight, I just recorded the uh, Franz, and it tastes so good. I wanted to go ahead and knock out another one here tonight. Uh, this here is the uh, Mad Tree uh, Ziegler, or Ziegler. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Don't really know how they're pronouncing it. Um, it is their Oktoberfest lager. I believe this is a also a Marizen style lager. 5.7% alcohol by volume, 20 IBU. Should be listed right down there somewhere. Uh, this here, um, you got the, uh, the Mad Tree logo with like the, uh, German twist to it is actually what it looks like, uh, to me in the background. See there in the background there, uh, pretty cool looking, uh, up here, the, uh, Mad Tree logo. I'm actually going to give this about a four and a half out of five. I actually like the, uh, the German take on the uh, logo uh, right there in the background, pretty cool. So, uh, four and a half out of five on the artwork here. Let's crack this bad boy open, get a drink on it, see what it's all about. So, uh, this here, like I said, 5.7% alcohol by volume, canned in July, like July 30th, so. Uh, about, uh, Month and a half old. It's not quite two months old. Let's crack it open. We'll use the old uh, Oktoberfest uh, mug here that I had. No really Oktoberfest uh, festivals uh, taking place in my area here in uh, 2020. So that's uh, definitely a nice amber color to this here. Put that up there. Mad Tree Brewing out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Pretty uh, amber color to this. Uh, hey, there's a little bit of chill haze to this here. It's been out of the refrigerator probably like a good 15 minutes or better just sitting here on the bar. Uh, there is some clarity to it. Not super clear, but there's some uh, mild clarity to this. This head is gone quickly on this thing here. Uh, it was just a white head up on top of this, uh, just coppery, ambery looking beer. Oh wow. There's a nice caramel graininess to this. Is there any reading on the back of this can? Nope. So, yeah, I'd say, uh, smells really good. Mild roasted roastiness to this, but not as roasty as some of the other um, Oktoberfest uh, beers. But I do get like a sweet caramel uh, aroma coming off of this. Really nice. So let's get a drink on this, see what it's all about. Uh, thinner side of medium body mouthfeel. Very crisp. Nice carbonated crisp mouthfeel. Very smooth um, drinking. So, toasted maltiness. Nice caramel sweetness. Nice German happiness to this. Very good. So this is actually um, a little warmer than what I thought. Um, maybe it was longer than 15 minutes. I actually might have got it out um, when I did the review of the Franz. Because it, it, I wish it was a little colder, actually. So I like my lagers with a nice chill to them. I don't care if it's Marizen, Fest Beer. I don't care if it's a light lager. 
I don't care what type of, of lager it is. I, I just like my lagers to have a little bit of a chill to them. So this is a little on the warmer side. Hmm. That was a nice uh, orange, uh, orange uh, taste I got right there. Orange flavor. Multi caramel orange, crisp, refreshing, smooth. I wish it was chilled a little bit more. Uh, pretty solid. Um, far as score in this thing, you know, I, I, I'm good with about a 3.95 out of 5. Um, just under a 4. Um, it's the style for me that I hardly ever give higher than a four. So when I uh, give a uh, Marizen style lager close to a four, that's like pretty good. That That's like good for me. That's a high rating for me. But yeah, it's uh, uh, definitely another um, Oktoberfest lager that I do uh, recommend. I do encourage you to pick up and try out. Uh, Mad Tree Brewing Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, this here is their uh, Ziegler, or Ziegler, um, however you want to pronounce it. I know some people, um, with, there's some people with the last name spelled like this, pronounced as Ziegler, but I believe uh, um, Ziegler is maybe what how they're, um, how they're pronouncing it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, anyhow, uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, check me out on social media, hit that notification bell down below, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Untapped out there, check me out on all those, uh, all those services that are out there available, anyhow.